Good morning, I'm Tim Archer, and we're reading through the Bible. TimothyArcher.com, I've got the readings there. I've got a calendar you can download. I'm gonna update that tomorrow and just have September through the end of the year. Um, but we're reading in Ezekiel right now. We're in chapters 14 through 16. I have to warn you that Ezekiel is not G-rated. Ezekiel has some very crude language to describe the unfaithfulness of Israel, comparing it to prostitution, and, and we're going to find that in several chapters here. Uh, Ezekiel wants to shock the people into repentance. What we see here are people who have allowed other gods to take God's place, to creep into their lives, creep into their hearts, and they still want to seek God and still want his favor, and he says it doesn't work that way. You serve me and me alone, or you don't serve me. And, and that's how it works. And I think that's a reminder for us because, you know, the New Testament teaches us that greed is a form of idolatry. And I think there's so many other things that can become idols in our lives. Another person, a, a relationship, even our family can become an idol. I think that um, obviously money can become an idol. Personal freedom can become an idol. Uh, pleasure can become an idol. Po politics can become an idol. Um, a nation of this world can become an idol. A flag can become an idol. So many things want our allegiance and want our worship. And we're to worship God alone. Ezekiel says that these people, according to God, had raised up idols in their hearts. It's not just the little statues you might have around the house. It's also the idols you have in your heart. You gotta tear them all down and worship God alone. Let's pray. Father God, we want to dedicate ourselves to you. We want to reject all other idols, reject all other allegiances that, that want to pull us away from you. May we be yours and yours alone. In the name of Jesus, amen. I hope you have a great Monday.